Hi, Librarian Tara here again. Uh, I want to talk to you about evaluating your sources of information. So what you find, how do you know it's any good? So um, here on our technology uh, subject guide here, uh, we've got a tab over here on the right called evaluating sources. So if you click on that, um, there's something down here called the CRAAP test, C-R-A-A-P. Yeah, I'm going to click on that and let's take a look. Okay, so CRAAP is something somebody came up with, hoping that it would be easy for you to, to remember because CRAAP, right? Um, currency, relevancy, authority, accuracy, and purpose or point of view. Um, these are all important things that you can think about when you look at an information source to help you figure out um, if it's an appropriate source and if it's one that uh, fits your criteria for, um, for quality. Um, on this page, there's a link here to a, a video uh, by a librarian over at La, uh, Leeward Community College, Juni. And uh, so you can take a look at that if you want. It's just four and a half minutes long. Um, but uh, let me just chat about some of these. I'm going to go out of order um, because I want to talk first of all about relevancy because I think it is, as you're looking through uh, your information sources, I think it is the first one that you want to pay attention to. And I say that because um, your time is important, right? Because you've got a lot to do. And I, I know I got a lot to do, right? So my time is important. I know your time is important. So you don't want to waste your time on something that doesn't doesn't fit what your need, right? It, it, if it isn't relevant to what you are doing right now, don't spending more time on it, right? So the first thing you want to do is figure out one, is it about my topic? Is it relevant to what my, I'm, does it have anything to do with the question I'm trying to answer, right? Is it going to help me figure out what I need to do or to help me make a decision? Um, and if the answer is no, put it down and move on, right? Now, if it's something you're really interested in, and you do want to read it, but it's not going to help you right now, go ahead and save it for later, right? But, um, you know, you got this research project uh, due, and you got a test coming up, and you have to do some reading for English tomorrow. And, okay, so put it away and read it later, right? And then get back to finding something that will help you with this project right now. Okay, so relevancy. Is it useful to you? Yes, great. Okay, now check. Um, is it uh, is it current, or does it have? Is it relevant to the time period that you're looking for? Right. So if you're looking at the history of something, and it's a little bit older, that's fine, right? If you're looking at the the history of the development of the mouse, um, you know, looking at an article from the 1980s might be just fine. Um, but if you're looking for the latest and greatest, uh, you, you know, you want to make sure you're not looking at something that's, that's too old, right? So make sure that's, that's going to be, you know, right on. And with technology, that's often very, very important. If you're if you're trying to figure out what's coming next, and you're looking at something that's five years old, that might not work. All right? So pay attention to date. Um, accuracy is important. Um, so fortunately, it's pretty pretty easy to to verify accuracy, especially when it's coming down to um, things related to technology, um, because you can very easily check accuracy. You can verify things by looking to see if other sources um, back it up. I mean, do, are, are other sources of information saying the same kind of thing? Right? Um, and with a lot of stuff with, regarding technology, there's a whole bunch of users out there 
who, you know, someone will post, uh, oh, here's what you, how you fix this problem. And then a whole bunch of people might say, yeah, that worked really well for me, thanks. And other people might say, oh, no, that doesn't work anymore because something changed. And then you'll see a whole bunch of saying, yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. You know, so um, with technology, it's great because you get a lot of uh, a lot of users giving you feedback about, yeah, this is accurate or no, it isn't. So that's one great about a great thing about the technology uh, information out there. Um, so verifiability of information so so that's good um so it's it's often useful to go ahead and look at different sources i do this all the time um i work with um excel work uh spreadsheets a lot and believe it or not and um sometimes i i'm looking for a solution to how do i how do i figure this out how do I get something to do some, you know, the cell to do something? And I will look at a couple different sources before I try something. And and I'm, I'm looking for those, those feedbacks, you know, that, oh, yeah, um, this is good. Oh, here's a more elegant way to do it. Or here's a simpler way to do it. And then I look for those. Oh, great. That's great. Thank you. Um, Yeah, that worked really well for me. Thanks. You know, so I start to see those and I'm like, okay, yeah. I'll go with that one. Um, so currency, relevancy, accuracy, purpose or point of view. Okay, now that is, um, that's really important. Okay, so um, this is, uh, sometimes it requires a little bit of imagination on your part or a little bit of digging, um, a little bit of guessing. So this is where you look at a piece of information and you think, all right, why was this created? Why was this written? Why was this put out there, right? Was somebody trying to sell me something, right? Is this video trying to um, get me to believe that this is the greatest product since sliced bread and I should buy it? So it's telling me all the great things and none of the not so great things. Um, or is this some guy um, who's uh, been frustrated with this thing and has finally had a breakthrough and wants to help other people avoid having this problem? Or is this lady um, just really keen on uh, helping other people? Um, you know, learn how to do this thing in the most efficient way. So she's got this whole series of, of training videos that she does uh, every week uh, just because she's a, a fabulous human. Um, or, you know, what is the motivation here, right? Um, and, you know, just because somebody's trying to sell you something doesn't necessarily mean that the information is bad. But again, keep in mind that they may not be giving you the whole picture, right? So, you know, the Microsoft training videos may actually be some of the better videos on the product, right? But they may not have, they may not go into the depth that you need for all of the problems, for example. Right. Um, so that it can be helpful for you to try to figure out, well, what's the motivation behind the creation of this? You know, who was it created for? Why was it created? Um, what's their point of view on this issue? Yeah. Just so you can make sure that you're getting maybe the whole picture, right? I and mean, you can go seek other points of view if that seems appropriate. Yeah. Okay. Then finally, um, I save authority for the last because uh, this can be kind of tricky. And um, in a way, it's because authority is, um, uh, they say it's, uh, what is the saying? Authority is constructed and contextual. Okay, what does that mean? First of all, what's authority? Okay, so, and 
authority in this context means kind of expertise, right? So in this context, authority is someone who can be looked up to as an expert, right? They know what the heck they're talking to. We can believe them because they know what they're talking about. So very often, um, signs of someone being an authority are things like um, they have an advanced degree in the field, right? So they, they're a doctor of education, or they um, have a master of science degree in computer science, or things like this, right? Um, in technology, um, often there's there's a lot of weight given to or, or street cred, street credit um, is, is kind of the jargon, um, given to people who have succeeded in um, or been successful in making innovations, right, or um, bringing big innovations to the field. Um, so you know, despite maybe not having advanced degrees, right, or they have a lot of experience in the field. Um, uh, so, you know, Zuckerman with uh, uh, Facebook, for example, um, is, is looked up to as, as someone who's, you know, a, a an authority on you know, technological change in, in social media and things like this, right? Um, and then, uh, you know, somebody's worked in the field a long time and other people look to them, right? Who's got, you know, I got a problem with this, who do I call? You know, I, I call the, the, the person who's been working in the field for 30 years and, and uh, knows how to go around solving this kind of problem, right? So they're the authority in that topic right and that's the thing they they, they need to be uh, an expert in the area that I'm looking at right so if I'm looking for someone who is an expert in educational technology it's not going to help me any to go and find somebody who's an expert in um, in programming uh, you know satellites that's not going to help me they're an authority in something but they're not an authority in the topic that i'm looking for right so that's why they mean it's contextual right so you're an authority in a particular context right you're an authority in the context in which you are the expert right does that make sense i hope it makes sense i know i can't hear you so i can't get that feedback and it's frustrating if you have any questions, please contact me or another librarian. Okay, now, um, so when we're looking at sources of information and you're looking to see if someone is an authority, so you're, you're looking, basically you're looking at the author or the people that the author uh, is getting the information from. Okay, so uh, is the journalist talking to some person in their basement who does this for fun on the weekends? Or are they talking to some industry leader who, you know, gives keynote speeches at the conferences, at the big conferences? Or, um, or are they talking to um, people who um, write important textbooks or important books in the field? Or, or who, um, uh, you know, do innovative stuff in the field, right? So, um, are they, are, are they, are they looking at the experts, right? Are you looking at the experts? Are you, are you getting information from the experts? So that's um, part of what you're looking for when you're looking at information source, right? Um, so, you know, you don't necessarily want to trust your uncle Kimo and uh, what he saw on TV about, uh, you know, about drones, for example. Um, 
or or what he saw about you know um, hacking you know like the Equifax hacking scandal right so uh, maybe you should get some better information from somebody who's a little bit more authoritative right someone who uh, knows a little bit more about that so currency relevancy authority accuracy purpose or point of view crap 